This module is going to discuss the idea of output. And when we're talking about programming, output is very straightforward. Output is simply the information that comes from a computer out to a user. So think about that for a second. That, can, that information can be feedback from a lot of different things. It could be feedback from typing in a Word document, or it might be something automated like a screensaver or your next song playing in your playlist from iTunes or something along those lines. So the information, of course, can come from a, can come in a variety of forms from a variety of sources. It doesn't just have to be something that we see on the screen. Of course, that is one of the predominant ways. So what we do see a lot is some is these types of options. First thing, images. Images come to us typically from the screen, but our screen can really re be represented in a lot of different ways. Yes, we have our standard computer screen, but we have other things as well, like virtual reality devices. And virtual reality devices you put on your headset, and you're actually looking at two screens simultaneously that kind of overlap to give you a 3D effect. Holograms. Holograms typically work either with mirrors or some type of volumetric uh, substance that the image is um, cast upon, and then you see this three-dimensional object in front of you. Uh, going past the images, we get into sound. Sound, of course, comes from our speakers or our headphones. And it could be an individual experience like with headphones, or it could be a communal experience with uh, speakers or whatnot. So you might be watching a movie, um, and everybody in the room is hearing the same thing, for example. Uh, going on past this, we get into haptic feedback. Haptic feedback it seems like this new innovative concept because it's the idea of touch. It's the idea of feeling that virtual uh, software. Now in video games, we get this haptic feedback in the form of vibrating controllers. But that's not the only form of haptic feedback that exists. When you type on your phone, typically you get that tiny little vibration that gives you the sensation that you've actually clicked a key. Uh, there's a lot of technology, there's a lot of research in this field right now for the world of virtual reality because people want to get that haptic feedback in their whole body. They want to be able to feel when they touch something. They want to be able to feel the impact of um, a bullet wound or something like that, obviously not to its full effect, I hope. Um, so going past haptic feedback, we get into text output. Text output is exactly what it sounds like. It's definitely the most common form of output that we see. Uh, text output is the idea of uh, text coming at us from a variety of different sources. It could be like an email or it could be um, writing a Word document or anything along those lines. We see that we see it all over the place. Video games, all of our text, our menus, everything is all text. In, computers have only really been using these other forms of media in the recent in the recent history. Things like video and images and whatnot. Those didn't really exist all that long ago. Twenty years ago, the internet. People, when people browsed the internet, it was almost a completely textual experience. The internet bandwidth just wasn't there to be able to download other forms of media, images and whatnot. It was just not a very exhilarating experience back then. Thankfully, things have improved. And then finally, we have hard copy. Now, hard copy um, is definitely an old type of uh, output. Uh, we see it most commonly in our physical printers where it takes something virtual and then prints out a physical copy that represents what we were just looking at. Now, in recent past, in the last 10 years or so, um, 3D printers have come on the rise, and now we can actually print out a three-dimensional model of something that we're looking at. Um, and there's a lot, of, again, a lot of research that goes into this because these types of things can be used for a variety of different um, options. So that's exactly what output is and all different feedback, all the different types we've seen. What we're going to focus on is text output. And for the rest of the modules, that's where we're going, and we're going to see how to uh, perform these actions as well as manipulate the text itself.